we're focused on bringing jazz in full bloom back to Chicago. Having the performing jazz scene return would be a great asset to the city. Jazz in Chicago from its beginnings played a leading role in the evolution of jazz. It's part of our history that we've never forgotten. Music is the heart of our city. We need to restore the jazz age of joy and happiness. Jimmy Palau, rightfully dubbed the king of jazz, was the first recognized leader and director of the original Creole Orchestra that traveled across the United States and in Canadian cities introducing the music he called jazz. Around 1911, the original Creole Orchestra brought the pioneering New Orleans style of jazz to Chicago. They stole the show at the Grand Theater on State Street, where they first appeared on the vaudeville circuit. With the sensational new sound of jazz, making Chicago one of the first major United States cities outside of New Orleans to give a home to jazz. The original Creole Orchestra played the best of collective improvisation, and they used musical techniques never heard or seen before. The members of the original Creole Orchestra were talented and professional musicians. They were Jimmy Palau, violinist, saxophonist, mellophone player, and leader of the band. Freddie Keppert, cornetist. William Johnson, bassist and manager. W.M. Williams, guitarist. Eddie Vinson, trombonist. Dink Johnson, drummer. George Bequay, clarinetist. They could also sing and harmonize like no other musicians could. These jazzmen, during their off time, could be seen doubling or sitting in with other bands and local talent throughout the city as they spread their sounds of jazz. This classic, syncopated music set the mood for parties and dancing throughout the midnight hours. Chicago was fast becoming the center of the jazz world. The most important clubs where the original Creole Orchestra played were on the south side. People of all color drank, danced, and socialized together and walked the stroll. The name given to State Street, bounded by the area between 26th and 39th Street. From 1910 to the late 1920s, thanks to the publicity efforts of the Chicago Defender newspaper, The Stroll, this rich musical scene on the South Side became one of the best-known streets in America. Jazz musicians found themselves playing for large crowds in Chicago, more so than New York or anywhere else. The patrons loved the hard-driving, up-tempo playing of the New Orleans evolving Chicago style jazz. These musicians were handsome and elegantly dressed in these sophisticated surroundings. By the mid 20s, there were literally hundreds of dance halls, theaters, speakeasies emerging on the South Side, and a large number of cabarets, which were eating and drinking establishments. The original Creole Orchestra was one of the greatest musical organizations of that era, and they remained in demand until they disbanded in 1918, and they, along with the later arrival of other bands, were the pioneers of jazz, and they had paved the way in Chicago for new jazz musicians. 
Jimmy Palau's professional reputation followed him, and he went on to play with other major bands in Chicago. Lawrence Duhay, John Whitcliffe Band, the Jolly Jazzing Jeopards, Dave and Tessie's Band, the Syncopated Ginger Snaps. Around 1922, King Joe Oliver and Louis Armstrong, Fletcher Henderson Orchestra, and other New Orleans musicians met with an already vibrant live jazz scene as they became successful and gained their popularity in Chicago, the mecca of jazz. Jimmy Palau established Chicago as his home on the south side. He died in 1925 and he's buried in Mount Olivet Catholic Cemetery. Little did he know that the music he spread and called jazz would be passed in 1987 by Congress to be America's national treasure. Recognizing jazz as the only original musical art form contribution to the world from America. Read Keep It Real, the life story of James Jimmy Palau, the king of jazz. Written by Joan Singleton, a local Chicago-born author. It's available in all bookstores and online. Keep it real. The life story of James Jimmy Palau, the king of jazz. 